Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will learn about relations and their representation. First of all, let us review what is order pair. Order pair is a pair of objects whose components occur in a specific order and it is denoted by x, y. That is, the elements which are related are put inside the parenthesis and separated by a comma. For example, the ordered pairs formed with 1, 2, R, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1 and 2, 2. Now, let us review what is a relation. A relation is a set comprising of ordered pairs which satisfy a certain rule. Now let us take some ordered pairs 1, 1, 2, 1, 4, 2 and 3, 1 and let the relation R is equal to the set containing the order pair x, y such that x is greater than y. Now the order pairs which are satisfying this relation are 2, 1, 4, 2 and 3, 1. As in all the order pairs, the first component is greater than the second component. And here, the relation is mentioned to us as the set containing the order pair x, y in which the first component is greater than the second component. So the order pairs satisfying this relation are 2, 1, 4, 2 and 3, 1. So we can write R is equal to the set containing the order pair 2, 1, 4, 2 and 3, 1. Therefore, the relation is a set of order pairs which are satisfying a certain given rule. Now, the set of first components of the order pairs is called domain and the set of Second components of the order pairs is called range. Now in this case, domain is equal to the set containing the first components of the order pairs. So it is a set containing the elements 2, 4 and 3. And the range is the set of the second components of the ordered pairs. So it is equal to the set containing the elements 1 and 2. Now let us see how to represent a relation. Now a relation can be represented by Oster form, by arrow diagram, in the equation form and by a rule. 
Now let us take a relation R which is equal to the set containing the order pair X, Y such that X is equal to 4Y and X and Y are natural numbers less than 10. As we have to find the relation, so we have to find first of all the order pairs which are satisfying this relation and also it is given that x and y are natural numbers less than 10. So first of all for y is equal to 1, we have x is equal to 4 into 1 which is equal to 4. So for y is equal to 1, x is equal to 4. Now for y is equal to 2, x is equal to 4 into 2 which is 8. So we are getting for y is equal to 2, x is equal to 8. Now next, for y is equal to 3, x is equal to 4 into 3 which is equal to 12. Now in this case we are getting x is equal to 12, but here it is mentioned that x and y are natural numbers less than 10. So we will not take this case and we will take only these two cases. So the ordered pairs satisfying this relation are 4, 1 and 8, 2. Now first of all, let us see how to represent this relation in the roster form. Now, the roster form is the representation of a relation R as the set of ordered pairs. So here, R is equal to the set containing the ordered pairs 4, 1 and 8, 2. Now this was the relation R which was given to us and this is the representation of this relation R in the roster form. Now let us represent this relation by a arrow diagram. For this we will write the domain of this relation on one side and a range on the other side. Now domain is the set of the first components of the ordered pairs. So it is 4 and 8. So we are writing 4 and 8 here. And the range is the set of the second components of the ordered pairs. So we will write 1 and 2 here. Now in the arrow diagram, the related elements should be paired and connected by arrows. Now, 4 is related with 1, so we will connect 4 and 1 with arrow, and 8 is related with 2, so we will connect 8 with 2 by arrow. And the relation is 4 times of. As 4 is equal to 4 times 1 and 8 is equal to 4 times 2. Now next, let us see how to represent this relation in the equation form. Now in this relation, the first component is 4 times the second component that you can see here. Therefore, in equation form, we can write this relation as x is equal to 4 pi. Now next is to represent the relation by a rule. Now the relationship 
between first and second component is the rule of the relation. Now here, the relation between the first and the second component is four times as the first component is four times of the second component. So here, x is four times y and four times is the rule of the relation. Therefore, we can write the rule of the relation is 4 times of. So, in this session, you have learned about representation of a relation. And this completes the session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.